The first section in chapter 7 is titled Fractions and Percents. The vocab term for today is percent, and it's a ratio that compares a number to 100. So if we look at the example, 80 out of 100, we can write it as a fraction, 80 over 100, or it would be 80 percent. And a lot of this will probably be reviewed today, which is good. So let's write each percent as a fraction in simplest form. So we always want to make sure that we're reducing uh, the fractions. So for number one, we have 60 percent. Remember, it's out of 100. So we would write 60 over 100. But then we need to make sure that we reduce the fraction. And 60 and 100, you might start with 10. Let's say you divide them both by 10. That gives us 6 over 10, but these numbers are both even. They are both divisible by 2. So that would give us 3 over 5. So if we're writing 60% as a fraction in simplest form, we would say 3 fifths. Okay, number 2, we have 12.5%. So we want to write 12.5 out of 100. But the problem here is, we can't have a fraction in our fraction. We need to kind of get rid of that first. So here's what we're going to do. First we're going to candy cane, and we're going to write 12 and a half as an improper fraction. So 12 times 2 is 24 plus 1. So it's 25 over 2 over 100. Remember, it's out of 100. But then the question is, how do we get rid of that fraction up there? Well, we remember that if we take a number and it can be a fraction, and we divide it by a fraction. We've done a lot with dividing fractions. It's the same as multiplying by a reciprocal. So let's change 100 to a fraction, and I'm putting it in parentheses so you can see that it's still 100, but it's 100 over 1 now. And instead of dividing by 100 over 1, we're going to take 25 over 2 and do what? Because dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying, so we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. We want to take the reciprocal of 1 over 100. Well, now we just want to multiply across the top and across the bottom, and then reduce. Others of you like to cross-cancel. So we get 25 times 1 over 2 times 100. And now we can reduce this. 25, let's see, 5 goes into 25. 25 goes into 25. And hopefully you recognize that 25 also goes into 200 evenly. So we get 1 over 8. So 12 and a half percent in a fraction is 1 eighth. So let's take a look how we did that again. We changed the 25 or the 12 and a half to improper fraction. Then instead of dividing by 100, we multiplied by 1 one hundredth. Then we multiplied the fractions and then reduced. Okay, a couple more examples here. If you'd like to pause the video and try both of these on your own. So 40%, we write 40 over 100, but then we want to reduce. Both of these numbers are divisible by 10, but they're also both divisible by 20. 20 goes into 40 twice. 20 goes into 100 five times. So our answer here, 40% as a fraction, is two-fifths, and some of you may know that one. And if you haven't paused the video yet, try to do that here and see if you can get this one on your own. So we have 20 and 3 fourths over 100. Remember, it's always out of 100. But we want to change 20 and 3 fourths to an improper fraction. So it's 20 times 4 plus 3. So it's 83 over 4 out of 100. But dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So we're going to do 83 over 4 times 1 over 100. And we get 83 over 400 when we multiply across. And you can mess around with numbers that uh, you know go into 400. I know 4 goes in, I know 2 goes in, I know 100 goes in, I know 25, 50. Those are all 
Uh, 400 is divisible by all those numbers, but none of those numbers um, is 83 divisible by. 83 is actually prime. So this is our final answer. 20 and 3 fourths percent in a fraction is 83 four hundredths. Okay, let's keep going. Again, write each percent as a fraction, simplest form. And now we're looking at numbers that are less than one or greater than a hundred. But still the process is the same. So if we have 0.8 percent, we're going to write 0 0.8 out of a hundred. But here, again, we can't have a decimal or a fraction within our fraction. So we have to figure out how do we get rid of that decimal. Well, the easiest thing to do is to move it by multiplying by 10, because that's going to change the 0.8 to an 8. But I can't just multiply the top by 10. I also have to multiply the bottom by 10. So that's going to give us 8 over 1,000. And now we need to reduce. You can check if 8 goes into 1,000. And in fact, it does. Um, you could have started with 4 or with 2 when you're reducing. So we get 1 over, and 1,000 divided by 8 is 125. So 0.8% is 1 125th in a fraction. Number 6, we have 175. 175 percent, so we put it out of 100. And here we just need to reduce the fraction, or simplify. So we start thinking of numbers that are divisible. I know that they're both divisible by 5, so I could start there. Since they both end in a 5 or a 0. 175 divided by 5 is 35. A 100 divided by 5 is 20. And they're actually both divisible by 5 again. We get 7 over 4. So 175% in a fraction is 7 fourths. And you can see that since we divided them both by 5, or we divided it by 5 twice, then it was actually divisible by 25 to start. And some of you may have checked that or known that. So again, let's pause the video here and try these two on their own. They're just like the last two. So we have 0 0.2 out of 100, but we don't want that decimal in our fraction, so we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by 10 to give us 2 over 1,000. 1,000 is even, so that means it's divisible by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1,000 divided by 2 is 500. So 0.2% would be 1 500th. One hundred and fifty percent, we put it over a hundred. I know fifty goes into both, <coughs> so we're going to divide them both by fifty. One hundred and fifty divided by fifty is three. One hundred divided by fifty is two. So one hundred and fifty percent would be in a fraction three halves. And you can change it to a mixed number, but you don't have to. If you changed it to a mixed number, it would be one and a half percent or excuse me, it'd be one and a half in a fraction. But now let's go the other way. So we know how to write percents as fractions. Let's write fractions as percents. So what we first want to do is we want to figure out how to make the denominator 100. What can you multiply 4 by to get 100? And hopefully you're saying 25. So what you're going to do is you're going to multiply the top and the bottom by that number. That gives us 25 out of 100. Remember though that a percent is out of 100. So whatever number you end up with on top then, that is your percent. So 25 percent. One fourth as a percent is 25. Same with 6 over 5. What number do you have to multiply 5 by to get 100? And if you're not sure, you'll have to start checking on a calculator. You can take 100 and divide it by 5. That will give you the number you need to multiply by. But it is 20. So that gives us 120 out of 100. 
or 120%. So when you're writing fractions as percents, you need to make your denominator 100, then you also need to multiply your numerator by that same number, and then the numerator becomes your percentage. Okay, if you'd like to pause the video here, try these two on your own and then check your answer. We want to multiply top and bottom by 10. It's going to give us 30 over 100, or 30 percent. Number 12, we want to multiply by 50. 2 times 50 is 100. So we get 350 over 100 or 350%. Now let's look at some word problems. We have a science quiz. Jacinda gets 14 questions correct out of 16. So find her grade as a percent. So we want to do 14 over 16. So that's what her score would probably look like on her paper. And we want to figure out what it's going to be as a percentage. Now let's say we don't have a calculator. Because what the majority of you would do would just take 14 divided by 16, and then you know that that decimal can be changed to a percentage. But let's say we don't have one. So we need to do something to make this over 100. But the problem here is that 16 isn't divisible, doesn't go into 100 evenly. So we can set up a proportion here, which is kind of nice. So we want to convert 14 over 16. We want it to equal something over 100. So we just need to cross multiply. 1400 equals 16x. Divide both sides by 16. And we get that x equals. And we can do some reducing here. Um, 1400 divided by 16, though, is 87.5. So she gets an 87.5% on her science quiz. I think we've got one more example. So after a survey, Linda discovers that four out of every 11 eighth graders at her school play games online. So find the percent of 8th graders that play games online and round to the nearest hundredth. So again, we have 4 out of 11. And we want to figure out how to write this as a fraction over 100. But again, 11 doesn't go into 100. So we need to set up a proportion where we can cross multiply. 400 equals 11x. Divide both sides by 11. And it does say round to the nearest hundredth. So 400 divided by 11. Remember the hundredth is the second decimal place. Some of you got this mixed up um, on the last test. But it's 36.363636 repeating. And so this is the hundredth space. This is where I want to cut it off. So I have to look here. If that 3 is less than 5, I keep my 6 a 6. If that 3 is 5 or larger, then I round my 6 up. So we get that x equals 36.36%. And in class, we'll work on Worksheet 7-1.